Okay, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Spoken Home video. We know it's been some time. We'll explain later, but right now we're gonna cover some DIYs for small spaces. Yep, we're starting out with a hanging toilet paper holder. It's great for small apartment bathrooms that uh, may be limited space. Here's what you're gonna need. Just remember, your hangers don't have to look exactly like this, you just have to have a bracket. So let's get started. The first step is to find a place to hang it, and then get your bracket and mark where the screws go. Next we're going to drill small holes that our wall anchors will go into next. Once your wall anchors are in, you're simply going to screw the screws into the anchors. Now keep in mind if your screw won't go all the way in, there could be something blocking it. So you just want to be really careful at this stage. Next you're going to take your curtain rod and you're going to unscrew it. Now having this style curtain rod is essential for this project to work. You have to have this screw top. Yeah, and the plastic on the inside of the rod makes it a lot easier. If it's not a perfect size uh, fit here, but you know, we make things work. We've got a couple of curtain uh, rings. And these we had to purchase separately. Mm -hmm. And basically you just hang that rod on the ring that hangs on the bracket. Now to get your paper towel rolls or toilet tissue rolls on there, you just want to unscrew the bottom and just kind of slide them up. And this is what it looks like. Yep. So we like to do this little staggered pattern. You can mix it up or put <laughs> flowers in it. But... Yeah, it doesn't look as plain. Okay guys, project number two, scrap wood shelf. Well, you guys have seen us reuse this hardwood flooring from our old house so many times. And now we're going to flip it and show you how to make a shelf. So here's a couple things that you're going to need. So you don't have to have hardwood flooring. You could just use regular wood that you can grab at your hardware store and just have it cut down. First, you're just going to eyeball on the wall where you want the shelf to go and do your best estimate to make sure it's even. And then you're just going to make marks. Next, we're going to line up where the brackets should be hanging on the wall. And we're going to mark where the screws go for those as well. Just like the one before, we're going to go ahead and drill a couple of small holes. <music> We're going to drop the anchor into the wall. Next is easy enough. You're just going to take your bracket and screw it in. You're going to do the same exact thing for the other side, but a quick tip. If you've got an iPhone, there is a compass built in. Which works as a level. Yep. A lot of people don't know if you slide to the side, it uh, comes up. Before you attach the second bracket, just make sure that it's even. You're going to take some two-sided adhesive, and you're just going to attach them to the brackets to make sure the shelf stays put. Once it's in place, feel free to accessorize with whatever you want. But also make sure it's not too heavy. Yeah, this is definitely a decorative shelf, not so much a functional, although it does hold some smaller items. 
we played around with that de decorating and uh, I think we came up with this look that looks good. Yeah. And this is less of a DIY, more of like a quick tip. If you guys have like old mason jars laying around and you want to store things in them, but you want to kind of revamp, get an embossing labeler. This guy was on Amazon. It was about 10 bucks and I totally love like the vintage old school look it gives the jars, but you just punch out your letters and stick it on. Something that we were running into is a lot of mason jars that we'd collected over the years that weren't being used. Yeah. So this is perfect for uh, storing stuff. You want to get rid of the original packaging. Especially being in small spaces, we stack. So this is a lot easier to see. Definitely a good investment. And last but not least, probably our favorite DIY in this video, the upcycled candle jar. You guys know how many of these Bath and Body Works candles we have laying around, like, tons. It's a shame to throw them away, honestly, and there's other videos on how to get the remaining wax out of them. And now we're gonna show you how to make a quick holder out of some newspaper and Mod Podge. All right, so let's go. Now the first thing you want to do is fold over the paper and cut it. Cut it, 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 cut it. Sorry guys, we had to do it. We had to. Was that too cheesy? It's everywhere. Now we chose this particular newspaper because it had a lot of great colors, but also a lot of contrast with black and white, and it was perfect. So we just take those strips and we cut them down even more. Next, we're gonna take the Mod Podge and we're gonna apply it to the outside of the jar really lightly with a sponge brush. Now, if you guys don't have Mod Podge laying around, you can probably use some like Elmer's glue, mix it with a little bit of water and it should get the same effect. So we're gonna dab a little bit on there. And then we're gonna lay more pieces one on top of the other. And there's really no rhyme or reason to where they go. What you're really aiming to do is mix it up and cover up glass. When you get towards the end and you have a couple of smaller spots, you're just gonna look from the inside out to make sure that all of those are covered. And here's the final product. The cool thing about Mod Podge is after it completely dries, it gets this glossy, like, hardened effect, and it's perfect. So it's really cool for storing things that you may want to keep out of sight. All right, guys, that's the end of our video. We truly hope you enjoyed these DIYs. If you decide to try it, definitely tag us. We want to see what you create. And be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. Also, we're doing a Q&A soon, so make sure to leave your questions below or find us on Instagram. Till next time. Bye. Later.